Hello, sinners. It is I, Father Evil, and I invite you to Destination Station on YouTube. Bagels can go to Destination Station. This buddy is the bomb. Yep. Yep. Fucking A. Yep. I had to say that for a reason. Freddy, take that, motherfucker. All right. Okay. Fuck you. Yeah. Jamie Kennedy. Subscribe to my man, Destination Station, right now if you want the best content. What's up? Welcome to Destination Station. As always, I'm Destin. Thank you for clicking on this video. Subscribe to Destination Station if you want Scream, Halloween, and everything in between. And uh, follow me on all my socials. All the links are down in the description below. And uh, I also want to take the time and theorize today about the Carpenter Sisters, okay? And, and what are they going to do with their characters? Uh, we do know that Melissa Pereira is not going to be attached, She and neither is Jenna Ortega. We got our two leads not going to be in this film. <clears throat> so, so we all are speculating, how are they going to explain that? Are they just going to, to not explain it at all, which I think is a bad idea. So that's why I want to take this video, and I want to talk about it real quick, because I think it's a very poorly way of showing the respect of what they built prior uh, especially with radio silence, all, everybody that was involved, you know, uh, it, I, if they don't explain anything and we just like veer to Sydney, as much as I love that that Nev Campbell was back playing Sydney and we got Kevin Williamson in the director's chair, I still want them to acknowledge the Carpenter sisters and even the Meeks twins, okay? Uh, <clears throat> it, I don't know how significant they're going to be in the movie. There's different ways that they could take this. Uh, I, I mean, you could really, you know, sum it up that the end of Scream 6 is the end of the Carpenter sister story. You know, maybe there wasn't anything else. You, I mean, I'm sure there was an idea. There, There is a script out there that they were going to go with, and now they're not. Uh, I don't know if we'll ever get that script, you know, later on down the road and, and, and know exactly what they had in store for the, for that third film or, or, you know, the seventh film, I guess, but the third film of the Carpenter Sisters. And uh, I, I think I just want them to handle it with respect and, and not be disrespectful in any way. Uh, and and not acknowledge them at all or do some sort of cop out you know I said that I wouldn't be surprised that they do this in a way to just kind of like like cut their ties to that is by um, acting like it was like a movie within a movie you know like the, them walking away at the end of Scream 6 and the camera veers back and it's just like cut and we're actually on like like the sixth film was like a stab movie you know i could say i could say that like you know the fifth maybe the first film was not a stab movie but but we would already be on a stab set you know or, or uh or it would veer back and it would be people like in the audience of a theater and they're and, and like okay just picture this for a second <clears throat> It, it, the ending of Scream 6, and we see the Carpenter sisters walking away. Melissa throws down that mask, and the camera's kind of veering back, but it comes out of the screen of the movie theater, and, and it's and it's an audience. It's our new core cast, like or, or it's the new opening kill of someone watching uh, the movie, and it was actually Stab, and it, and it comes out up, you know, like Stab something, you know. Uh, uh, it, it, so, so that's one way that they could approach this, and then that would like veer into it, kind of still mirroring Scream 3, because we're still messing with the Stab stuff, maybe we're on a Stab set. Uh, or, or, you know, it could be veering back, and they're in, you know, uh, the, it, it's like, I, I don't know, like, like there's, there's different ways to handle that. I'm not saying that's the way I want them to handle this, but I wouldn't be surprised that they pull some sort of cop out so they don't have to explain too much of their absence in this movie. Uh, but I feel like they should, right? I, I, to, to get the respect to Melissa and Jenna, I think that they should, especially the radio silence. Uh, and and you know, I, you know, I 
<laughs> Guy is a trooper. <laughs> Guy Busick, who's writing these movies, he's having to be like, okay, now I gotta switch everything else up and everything. So, so I hope that he, I hope his paycheck is very hefty because because he's having to 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 go through a lot of obstacles to to change around story beats and 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 change everything just because of what Spyglass has done. And I don't want them to do something that's like real easy as a cop out. Now, another way that they could explain the Carpenter sisters' absence is this actually picks up in New York City. Uh, Scream 7 starts off where they're in the hospital. You got Kirby there, you got Gail there that's injured. Um, uh, it, you even got the Meeks twins or something like that. Or, or maybe you don't even have the Meeks twins if you don't want to invite them back. And, and it's just like, maybe it starts off with like opening with Gail and Kirby and 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 they're just like hey where's uh where's sam where's where's tara you know and they're and they're just like oh oh uh they left this note or something like that and they're like we're leaving don't look for us we, we're done with this life whatever you know maybe like a, a really sincere letter to gail and kirby or whatever but they're like they, they're getting out of dodge or something or they're going to where their mother is or whatever you know and then maybe we could pick that up later on down the road you know if they ever decide to 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 invite melissa back and if jenna would like to come back even if jenna doesn't want to come back melissa could still come back somewhere down the road you know and uh and even the meeks twins and that's one thing like 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 i want the Meeks twins to be mentioned too. You can't just, you know, ha you can't have one without the other. Okay, sorry. Uh, got lame there for a second. <laughs> That's all I could think about. But w another way that they could approach this is, is what if the opening is similar like 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 the opening opens with the Meeks twins. Wouldn't that be crazy if the opening opens with the Meeks twins? And they're like on the phone, but we don't see Melissa or we don't see Jenna. And, and they're just like, yeah, the, um, uh, I just got the phone with with uh, Sam. And she said they're gone. They're not coming back. They're, they're leaving. And maybe they, they have a conversation like, well, that's what we need to do as well. You know, I don't blame them, blah, 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 blah. And then they get a phone call. You know, they think it's Sam and Tara calling right back and they pick it up and it's actually Ghostface. And it's like, you think it was over? And, you know, and we and we and we veer into that. And, 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 and what if Chad and Mindy get killed in the same scene? That would be super nuts. That would be mean. That would be cruel, I think. But with the absence of Scream 6 of having something that was really mean or cruel death in 6, I feel like it would make up for it in 7. Like we start off with a bang, with a shocking opening kill similar to Scream 3. We're mirroring Scream 3 again with that cotton weary death. We wasn't expecting that. They could do the same here with Chad and Mindy or one or the other, or even Martha Meeks, you know, if they decide to go back to Woodsboro. Uh, there, there, there's a bunch of ways that they could go about this, but if they did do any of this kind of thing, like how would you want this to be approached? How do you want them to explain the Carpenter sisters' absence and the Meeks twins' ab accent absence? Sorry, I can't talk this morning. I need my coffee. But uh, maybe that's a separate video with the Meeks twins. Maybe we'll talk about that. But I'd like to hear y'all's thoughts in the comment section below, and and and, and give me some ideas. Where where do you want where do you want that to start off at? How do you want this to all to be explained, or do you think? it's better not explained or another option you know you could do a possibility is just pick up directly after screen four and, and and it's like a requel to the fourth film and it's like five and six is its own thing and that way we could bring back Dewey as a character you know because I'm pretty sure Kevin Williamson in that director's chair would love to play with the character Dewey you know and maybe that and, and if he pushes hard enough being like I need that character back I need I've been writing him since the beginning uh I need him back and 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 if he pushes hard enough they're gonna make some really crafty writing and and make sure Kevin Williamson gets what he wants because I'm pretty sure they had to make some sort of deals to get even Kevin in that director's chair, okay? Because you got to remember, first and foremost, Kevin Williamson is more of a writer, not a director. He has some directing credit, but he's not like a director like Wes Craven, okay? But that team was awesome, okay? So that's what I'm saying. I think that Guy and and Kevin are going to make something very special. And uh, uh, I want I want to hear y'all's thoughts. How do you want this to be orchestrated, executed? Let me know. All right, this is Destination Station. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, be a part of Scream Talk every week. And I'll see you guys when I see you guys. I'll be right back. 
I'll be right back. Oh. 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 Oh.